So it's into the void. Hi, Fluid here, and today we will break down Silvergoth's builds and tricks. Silvergoth is a Warframe, which the blueprint will be granted with the Call of Tempest Eerie Quest, and the parts will drop at Neptune, Pluto and Vale Proxima Storm Void missions. Storm Void missions and new Railjack Fisher missions, which you can open relics there alternative to normal relic missions. With Silvergoth, came Epitaph, new secondary with high critical chance and critical damage, which is even viable in Idol and Hunt if you're interested to build it for. Epitaph parts drop at Earth, Venus and Saturn Storm Void missions. Okay, now let's get into Sivigoth abilities. Sivigoth, unlike other can have mods for himself and his shadow, and of course one for his exalted weapon called Claw. They have different stats and abilities, which we will get into it in a moment. We will explain Sivigoth passive ability at the end of his abilities. But about his bar called Death Well. It's basically the measure which indicates if you can use your shadow, if it's over 75% filled. And strange thing about it for this update, if you have infused helmet abilities that deal damage, using them will also fill the death well bar as well. This one called, Reap, is both damage as radiation, and enemy vulnerability, depend on the strength you put on Sivigoth. His one is a good combo with his two, the Sal, which we will get into it in seconds. Honestly his one isn't bad but I find it hard to control in different map. Especially in Hydran which I spent a lot of time to maximize Sivigoth there. You can use aim while your one is active to guide your shadow to where to move. But don't get surprised cause it can sometimes get stuck at some points of the map like near elevating surfaces. His 2 and 3 abilities are kind of similar to Nova's for Molecular Prime. His 2, so, makes AoE damage on enemies affected and it's true damage by the way. That's right, another true damage like Trinity EV, and enemies will deal damage in AoE when they die based on percentage of their health. His 3, Gloom, will slow enemy and has a unique ability not on other frames. His lifesteal works both on frames abilities and attacks. Meaning frames like Saren can also benefit from Gloom's lifesteal with her abilities. The ability detail has said attacks, I know, but I've tested it and got suspicious when I used Smite Infused Helminth ability and saw it give back health. This is the main ability I personally use Sivagoth for. It's a unique one no other frame can give others life steal for ability damage. And the slow is very nice, it can stack with other sources of slow as well so it's very good. But the drain part is tricky as it can drain energy pretty quick if you decrease efficiency. The fourth ability called Exalted Shadow will be available after reaching 75% of the Death Well Bar, and will make available for you to use Shadow Form. Shadow Form doesn't have problem with nullifies and can easily go inside bubble and kill them. The Shadow Strikes melee hits both with your Range Fire Hotkey which is Mouse Left Key on PC and your Melee Hotkey. When you die on your Shadow you will get back to your Sivagoth Form. So it's a good point to remember for your survivability. The Shadow's one ability called Embrace, will pull enemies towards you, and keeping them floating in air according to the duration. Only Drain, Range and Duration are changeable with mods, and Angle is fixed value. Shadow's 2, Consume, will dash through enemies dealing radiation damage and life steal with the ability. This is the ability you use when you're downed with Sivigoth. Shadows 3 is Death Harvest, which is kind of similar to Sivigoth's 1 but the enemy vulnerability is AoE now. It's good to mention that you can use it to fill your bar again later, before you use Reunite. The 4th will reunite Shadow with Sivigoth again and give back some health to Sivigoth as well, depend how long they have been away from each other. Now about the passive. After you get down as Sivigoth, you will change to Shadow, and during that time you will use Shadow Consume to regain certain stack numbers that is showed at UI. If you gather it, you will be able to revive Sivigoth to full health again and be invulnerable for few seconds. But like other abilities for revival this doesn't work on arbitration either. About the combos. There are a lot of combos to use for Sivigoth and his Shadow. I'll refer to Sivagoth's abilities as 1, 2 and 3 and Shadows as S1, S2 and S3. 2 plus 1 is a great combo to clear medium level enemies. 
so puts debuff on enemies that will make them explode. And one deals the damage to start the chain damage. You can even improve it and use S1 plus 2 plus 1 or even S3 plus S1 plus 2 plus 1. Shadow's Embrace will gather enemies for you to take down faster. And Shadow's is Death Harvest for putting vulnerability on enemies AoE. I found Savagoth's 3, Gloom, powerful during boss fights as the slow works awesome and even stacks with other sources of slow, and duration of slow is controllable unlike Nova. Claw damage is enormous and can rival with Valka talents. Talons have higher creed chance but claws have higher creed damage and higher damage. Which makes them even stronger than Valka talons if built right. Now about helm and confusions. There can be a lot of combos with other frames abilities to infuse via helming. Wisps breach surge with Sivagoths too, so. Also good with Hildren pillage. Cora's in snare, with Sivagoths 1 or 2. Also doable with Nidus's Lava with the Lava Burst Augment. Helmant's Mark of Death with Sivagoths 2 as well. Also Gloom can be a good infused abilities with many frames. Such as Inaros as well, since Inaros 3 doesn't have much use for now. For the build personally I use these 3 builds for now. But maybe I change it more in the future. I use a general build. 1 max damage output build with Eclipse Infusion and possibly Augment to give allies buff damage as well and in snare infusion. But depends what you want to do with this frame. For arcanes I found best to stick to, arcane energize, and, arcane aegis, if you have them maxed. Aegis is very good since Sivagoth doesn't have much shield and it's better to use than, arcane barrier, for the same reason. For shadow you can build it for range and duration for his abilities. And build him tanky, since for high level enemies you need more survivability on shadow, either to keep going with him or revive yourself with passive. Overall I found Sivagoth interesting frame. Can do many tricks in the game and need some experience to get the hang of the frame. Well this was the full guide for Sivagoth. I hope you learned something from this clip. If you did please don't forget to like and subscribe for more contents. And let me know in the comments what other topics you like guides and tricks about.